Hi guys, this is Nicholas from Soundforce and in this video I want to talk to you about the control panels. The control panels are Google Chrome MIDI applications where you can set and change all the CC numbers associated to the controls on the controllers. There's one for each, so make sure you use the right one for your controller. I will go ahead and demonstrate the SFC Mini. If I plug it, you will see it appear in the audio MIDI setup right here. Then I can go ahead and click on Rescan MIDI port. And if the device is in the list, the application would be able to uh, connect to it. If I turn the mod mix button, you see message 78, the glide time message 79. I can go ahead and change those to, for instance, 100, 101, click send values. Device is going to disconnect and reconnect. You've seen it here, maybe on the uh, in the audio MIDI setup. If I turn mod mix, 100, glide time, 101. I can also reset to factory values. Once again, the control is going off and on again, and the values are now 78 and 79 again. But I kind of like this configuration with 100 and 101 and I want to save this to a file. And you can do this with save and load configuration. If you do save this configuration, the program is going to read all those fields and paste them in this bigger field. If you click in there, you can do copy, open a text editor, create a new file and paste it and just save this somewhere, preset one. Here I have another test preset that I made and I want to load this one. So I'm going to select everything, do copy, go back to the application, select everything, do paste, and then load this configuration. And now this list of numbers spread all over those fields and you can do say send values. It's resetting and now mod mix is zero. And let's see the waveform one is 69. This is how you can basically save configurations if you want to go from one piece of hardware to another one to using a plugin and it's all very easy. And that's all there is to it.